Hello everyone, my name is Don Arts. I play for Big in the German League and my refreshing pick is Ivern. Trust me, you need this. Take all the gold, I really don't need it. When I first picked up Ivern, um, he was released and I saw that he was a different jungler from all the other junglers that were already released. Like the way that he farms camps where he can't actually hit them, um, but he just marks them and then you have to pick them up and harvest them later on. I just thought it's a really cool and new refreshing way of jungling and instantly when the new champ got released I saw people picking it up and struggling with it, not really finding their way and their footing. So I kind of just wanted to be better than the other players on Ivern. So I started playing him, started finding my own techniques, my own jungle paths and my own playstyle with him and have been successful with it up until today. Right now in the meta, people might say Ivern is not really a strong jungler just because of his um, lake and dueling potential and also his ability to not be able to clear as fast as maybe other junglers, just of his nature itself. Um, but I think it's kind of a niche pick, right? Like you can't just blind pick it in every match and just be fine with it. Like if you first pick it in solo queue, for example, and the enemy picks like Rengar into it, then you're gonna have big trouble. But um, I think it's a good niche pick, it's a good counter pick as well. Like you can pick it when you see a lot of gems and when you see you have some carries in your team that will be able to deal out the damage that you need. For example, it works really well with some stuff in the mid lane like Yasu, Irelia, some, some melee fighters that you can really set up um, and they, that they can make use of your Q ability, which offers them another gap closer. And then I think it can be really good. Obviously, Ivor has seen better metas than the current one, but I think it's just about how you play him. And if you play him well, you can make him work, even right now. Synergy with Ivern are Yasu, Irelia, Echo, Kassadin, even Katarina can be fine, like especially for solo queue that can work. Um, yeah, mostly those champions that normally struggle to actually play team fights. All of those champions that I just said, they're like more of the side lane champions. You don't want to really, in the late game fights, you don't really want to join them, you just want to go on side lane with them. But actually when you have Ivern, you give them the opportunity to, to actually be a team fighter because just your shielding and the nature of Ivern's kit with Daisy that provides knockups, the bushes as well, you just provide your laners or those certain champions with attributes that they lack in their kit, so you actually make them become teamfight champions, which they are maybe not when there's no Ivern on the team. In the early game with Ivern, um, mostly what I want to do is, for my jungle pathing, I always want to pick one lane which is either top or bot lane, um, that I will know, okay, I want to play towards that lane. And then according to that, I adapt my pathing. So let's say, for example, you are playing Ivern on blue side and you want to play for your top laner because your top laner plays Camille. Um, it's also a really good synergy with Ivern, um, Ivern and Camille, just uh, as a side note. What you want to do is, um, you want to start by marking your wolves, then go to your blue market as well. Go to your Gromp market, go to your bot side, mark the Raptors and Red Buff. Then you use your Smite on the Red Buff, which gets you level 2. And then you go into your top side again, where all the marked camps are waiting to be picked up. Um, you pick all those three camps up that you marked previously. You will hit your level 3 and at this point you have some, some downtime on this Ivern. When you took some camps and it's gonna be the time around like 3 minutes at that point, then you can look to Go into top side. I would always just um, look to go towards top lane, fish for a gank, fish for a gank opportunity. Maybe Camille can jump in, you know, start the fight, and you can join it. Just as it works with Yasuo as well in the mid lane, you can do the same on top lane. Um, if the gank doesn't work out for you, it's not even bad because that will guarantee you to have the prior. Because if the enemy laner respects your top laner, then your top laner will be able to have the first move into river. So when the scuttle spawns, then at 315 you will have the backup that you need to take it. And with Ivern, another good thing that you have is you are in river and even if you have like a losing jungle 1v1, you can even dodge those bad matchups just by avoiding fighting, avoid fight. Like you don't fight the enemy jungler, you just go to the scuttle, mark it and smite it and you know, you peace out. Like you don't stay there for long and yeah, you can be really quick in your decision making on Ivern just because of him being able to take jungle camps in the matter of seconds. 
In the mid game with Ivern, um, when you pick up your first and second item, which will most of the times be like Redemption first and then Athena or Arden Sensor, um, you want to find those items along the way. Um, what you want to do is you want to be controlling the objectives. So let's say um, your next objective is to take Dragon or Nasher. What you want to be doing is, even before that objective spawns, you want to make sure you back up your team on the lane pushes so they can push in the waves and then you go with your team and get the whole setup for the objective. You want to make the map dark for the enemy. When they have to run into your team and you have Ivern, you can place pushes, you can be disruptive, you can force fights around your vision control and when the enemy face checks you, this is when you can start fighting. Like in fights you bait the enemy to run in, you can even put bushes, the enemy won't see when you're hitting Dragon or Nash with your team, the enemy won't see at what HP the objective is at, you can keep doing it and they will be they will have to be guessing like okay how fast are they doing it? Is it healthy? Do we have to face check already? There's those bushes. We, we don't really want to walk in there but well eventually if they want to contest the objective they will have to and this is when you get the good fight as Ivern. Ivern is just a team fighting machine like if you're even or ahead in the game team fighting will be super easy. Well yeah your job is basically to help your carries do the work. You want to give them space where they can auto attack, where they can whip out damage this is basically your job in the mid game. With Ivan's abilities, especially with SQ, it's like um, you can always use it as um, an escape tool as well. For example, you are escaping, then the enemy team is chasing you, you're running away in the jungle, and it's basically pretty similar to leasing Q. Um, you're running through the jungle, you know as the jungle camp is up, you can Q over there and escape. I remember I had one game, it was um, in the Premier 2 final. Uh, we played against Atok in Berlin. Vladimir finde ich hier auch sehr gut, auch gegen Tam Kench. Weil du, du hast diesen AOE Schaden. Oh my goodness, oh. it's Ivan. Von Arzt Ivan. And in the first game of the series, I saw the enemy, they picked a lot of um, dive in. They early rotated something like Olaf, and I think they also picked Akali. And I knew what the enemy team comp will be doing is they will be going into you. Even though we were not doing so well in the early game, also because Ivan is not the best early game champion. In the late game, it was really hard for um, Atok or the enemy team to fight against us because they were relying on running into us, but they could never one-shot anyone. Like we had a Zaya, we had a Vladimir, and they would never die in the late game team fights. And that's just because they had to run into us. They had to run into bushes, into no vision, into shields, and I would just be there, keep my carries alive, and help them carry the team fight. Niemand weiß, dass er da ist. Er hat so eine super Position. Oh, Tut der Leute. Der Chan jetzt geht zum Raum, das eh aktiviert und da ist Jane down. Ganz wichtig hier, Klei auch down. Hello everyone. My name is Don Arts. I play for Big in the German League and my refreshing pick is Ivern.